Hi again. Um, so there's something I just want to talk about. Um, just this video probably won't even be that long. It's just something I want to touch on that I'm I'm noticing. It's something that I'm hearing a lot, and um, I just want to encourage everybody. Um, you know, a lot of people are looking at me or have looked at me in the past. You know, um, and they're basically like, you know, how can you, how can you just change so fast? You make it look so easy. Like you don't know what I've been through, and and it's so much harder for me. I can't just change myself. This is how I am. I've always been this way, and da 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 blah blah, right? First of all. <laughs> um, do not let this fool you, okay? I'm. I want to always encourage you guys, and um, you know, I I want that when you guys look at me, you can you know you can see something different. I want that you guys can you know interact with me and that you see the love of God in me. But don't think for a second <laughs> that it's easy or it comes easier to me than it would for you the difference between me and you is that I've made a decision to change my life and live right and that decision that obviously you haven't been ready to make because you haven't made it yet but it's not because it's not just as possible for you as it is for me because that's ridiculous so um, you know I just want to encourage everybody like you guys are talking so much about oh you don't know like what I've been through and I promise you that there's almost no situation that I haven't experienced there's almost no position that I haven't been in I've seen it done it all so don't tell me that you can't do it don't tell me that it's harder for you than it, it is for me and, and I'm not going to sit here and lie to you like because I changed my life, everything is good and gravy. You know, I still struggle. I still, you know, have my days, you know. I still, not everything is perfect. Nothing's ever going to be perfect, you know. I still, you know, I fall. I still fall sometimes, you know. I still mess up. I'm still human. Like, I'm just as capable of doing something bad as you are you're no different the difference is that I'm I made a commitment and I'm holding like I'm holding to that like and that's what I'm gonna live by at the end of the day there's nothing more important to me in this world than my relationship with God and the day the second that you decide to make that commitment your life could change just like my life is changing because it's not even changed. I mean, I have changed a lot, but it's a, pro a daily process every day. And there's a lot that it comes with, you know, renewing your mind every day, constantly repenting, constantly asking for guidance, you know, having to fight off the things that, you know, almost are natural to you at this point. Like, there's a lot that comes with it, you know, but it's so rewarding because at the end of the day, the joy, the the peace, the the love, just everything that comes with, um, you know, committing your, your life to God and living for God, like, it's so rewarding. Like, there's nothing that the world can offer me that I can say is better than just a taste of God. Not even the full effect, but just a taste of it, and it just leaves you wanting more. But don't try to make it seem like I don't know what I'm talking about. Sweetie, I've been there. Hello. <laughs> you know, like, I've done it all. I've experienced it all. Like, seriously, <laughs> there's nothing you can tell me that will surprise me. And there's nothing that you can be doing that's too bad to change. Believe me, it is hard. And... It's a commitment that needs to be made, and you have to fight to keep it. Sorry. I just heard something. Sorry. Anyways.
kids screaming in my hallway. Anyways, it's hard and it's something that, you know, takes work, but it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done. And I can say that and I can say that so surely because like I said, I've experienced it all. I've gotten a taste of everything there is in, that this world has to offer. And honestly, it's nothing compared to what God can do for me. So, you just saying, another thing you guys need to understand is that there's so much power in your words. There's so much power in your tongue. Like, you can literally be declaring something over your own life. You can be a certain way because you said you were that way. You understand what I mean? The same way how, um, you know, the Bible says, you know, talks about how, like, it talks about the power of your words and stuff and, um, you know, the weight that it holds. And honestly, you can, that's why a lot of people, they are the way they are because of something that they declared over themselves or other people have declared over their lives. And if that's the case, then you need to cancel that. And you need to, you know, I, I don't, I don't accept that. This is not how I am. I'm like this. You know, God made me to be like this. But the second you be like, oh, I'm so stupid. Or you say, well, I'm just gay. That's just me. Or you say, oh, I'm always going to be like this. Everything you're saying, those are declarations. So now, because you're sitting there talking about how stupid you are, now you're going to be stupid. You're sitting there talking about how gay you are, and that's you, and that's it, and this is me, and you're embracing it. Not only did you declare that over your life, but now you're embracing that as a part of who you are, and that's not who God destined you to be. And then you want to talk about, oh, I'm always going to be this way. I'm never going to be smart enough. I'm never going to amount to anything. You're declaring that over your own life. Instead, try switching that. I challenge everybody to try to switch that and how about you say I'm successful I'm not a failure I'm gonna make it I'm gonna change I'm gonna fix this I'm gonna be who God wanted me to be and whoever comes with me comes with me whoever doesn't doesn't the attitude that you have about oh this is me this is who I am accept it or not like I don't care you don't gotta like me that same attitude you have first of all that attitude is not gonna get you nowhere second of all <laughs> That attitude that you have, you can use that same amount of attitude, that same amount of energy for something positive in your life. Use that all the, that same energy that you're putting on, well, this is me, and da 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 Take that and use it in, well, this is who I'm going to be. Either you're with me or you're not. It's, honestly, I feel like it's, 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 it's weird because it's hard to, you know, commit yourself and you know constantly have to because the world is the world you can be whoever you are in God but the world doesn't change the world is always going to be the same so it's always going to be hard so that's hard but I feel like once you're in and you 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 see how rewarding it is and how good it feels it becomes less hard like less harder every day like because when I first started it was so hard for me and I'm like I don't know how I'm going to do this I can't do this and as the days go by, you just keep tasting and tasting. And you're like, I don't want to go back to that. And you look back on your life like, wow, I can't believe I did that for years. Like, I can't believe that was me for years. I look back, even at pictures, you can see the difference. And I'm like, I can't believe that was me. Or just talking about how I was freshman year in high school, sophomore year in high school, even senior year in high school. Just thinking about it, talking about it, I'm like, I can't believe that was me. But you appreciate the person that you've become so much. It's, look... It's this simple. Give your life to God, right? And honestly, I could challenge all of y'all, and my faith is so strong that I can promise you that if you just dedicate a week to the Lord, but dedicate yourself to the Lord, for a week, I promise you, you'll never go back. I promise you that. It's so rewarding it's so worth it like and a lot of people don't understand because they haven't truly encountered you know a true experience with god but 
if that's what you want, if that's what you need, which it is, <laughs> and it should be what you want, then ask God for it. God is not that hard to reach. God is always there. Like, literally, right now, he's listening to me. Right now. Like, he's so accessible. It's just nobody, we don't reach out to him. Reach out to him. It's that simple. Look, like I said, I challenge you guys. If you can't do a week, man, do a day. <laughs> I trust my God. Like, if that's what you're looking for, if that's what you need, reach out to God and he's going to give it to you. And that's it. At the end of the day, that's what it's about. But you have to reach out to God. You can't expect that that's just going to come to you. That I don't know where you're going to snap your finger and the next day your, you know, your life is going to be completely different. Or you're going to snap your finger and you're not going to be a liar anymore. You're going to snap your finger. You're, you're not going to want to have sex anymore. You're going to snap your finger. You're not going to be gay anymore. That's not the case. That's not how it is at all. But when you find yourself making so much effort to become who God wants you to be, when you get closer and closer to that, you look back like, wow, I can't believe I really did that. God is so good. Like, till now, God has been so faithful. And in him you'll find things that you couldn't find anywhere else. A happiness that you wouldn't be able to get to anywhere else. So I just want to encourage all of you. I know this video is actually longer than I thought. I just started rambling. But... God is good, man. God is so good. Like, if only you guys would just give him a chance. Like, trust me, I know what it is to be deep in something. I know what it is to live a life your whole life. I'm 18 years old, about to be 19. My whole life I've been a certain way. I know what it is to be so deep in something that you don't know, you don't even see it to be possible to get out of it. Trust me, I know. Trust me. I know. I've been through it all and it it seems like the hardest thing in the world but you got to take a step what do you have to lose really like you have your whole life what's a day for God how would that kill you you know what I mean try it man I'm telling you it's so worth it it's so rewarding so I'm gonna keep everybody everybody all my subscribers everybody that's watching everybody I know I'm gonna keep everybody all of you guys in prayers and I really, really hope that this video encouraged you guys to just want to challenge yourself to take a step, a step of faith that, because honestly, faith is the only way you're going to get to it, because by yourself, you won't be able to do nothing. There's no way that you're going to be able to make this, that step to your own ability. You need God. You need God for everything in life. So I just hope you guys are encouraged. I just, I bless you guys. I bless your families. I bless your careers, your finances, everything. And I just, um, I hope that this video touched at least one heart. And if you guys ever need to talk, um, I'm actually very accessible. Um, you can inbox me, you know, or whatever video response, anything really. I just let me know how I can be there for you or if you just need somebody to talk to to vent to some advice like I know what I'm talking about I know my God I know my word I mean you know I just started really 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 committing but I've been in church my whole life so and you know I, I've, I've been in God like I've, I've never left God never I know what I'm talking about I know what it is I know the struggles if you need someone, please do not hesitate to call me. Well, you can't really call me because you don't have my number because I don't put it on YouTube. But you can inbox me and we can see what we can do. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are blessed. I feel blessed. And I hope I really encouraged you guys today. So, God bless you guys. I love you.